What up, Wagwan? It's Mina, and in this video, we're gonna be trying out a few new products, but mainly the point of this video is to show you what I think is going to be a super, not super, we say wicked in Rhode Island, a wicked matte process or technique that you can do for the summertime if you're oily or a combination like me, but just wanna be matte. So if you're excited, I want you to give the video a thumbs up. Now, I have not done this technique yet, so I don't know what how it's gonna come out, but I do think it's gonna work. Okay, so we gonna see what she gonna do. So the main products that are gonna, what I think, mattify our face, like real deal, holy feel. The three main things that are gonna give us the matte look is gonna be one, this Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. This is the ultra matte one. So I have the regular one, but I bought the ultra matte one because I hear this thing is bomb. And then you gotta shake it up. So I'm just shaking it right now, but I will shake it before I use it, okay? Then the second item is gonna be this NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation in the color Iguasu, Iguku, I don't know how to say it, but that one, okay? That's gonna be the ultimate matte foundation that I've been using that I love. The third item is this new Urban Decay All Nighter Translucent Powder. It's a softening loose setting powder. It also claims to give all day shine control, okay? So those three things are what I think is going to help us. So let's just jump into it. First, you know, I like to put on my lip primer and I'm gonna take off my, oh, let me put my hair back and I'm gonna take off my gloss because that's important. I'll link the hair below in case you're interested. She is a four by four Brazilian curly situation. Okay, we're gonna get her clipped back so she doesn't give us a hard time. I like to prime my lips, you know that, with this e.l.f. Cosmetics lip primer. This is a lock on lip primer. I'm just digging out whatever I have left of this product. Now, I could use a primer. For instance, the NYX Cosmetics Can't Stop, Won't Stop primer, which for me is extremely matte. We've talked about this before. That kind of a primer you only wanna use in your areas of, like for me, my T-zone. So that kind of primer is only to be used wherever you are extremely oily. That is not a primer to put all over your entire face. In fact, if you've been here for a while, you know that I do not put any primer ever all over my face unless it's a spray that inevitably goes all over my face. I never prime my entire face. I start off with my skincare, which is going to be dewy inevitably, especially since I have on SPF and it's a super goop SPF. It has a moisturizer in it with SPF. It's dewy. This is how my face looks all the time when I finish my skincare. I'm saying all this because we're not starting off matte. We're starting off hydrated and that is how my face looks every single day, okay? So when it comes to primer, if you're using a mattifying primer, make sure you're putting it only in the areas where you are oily. So for me, again, it's the T-zone. I could use that, the NYX Cosmetics Can't Stop, Won't Stop or the Becca Ever Matte Primer in my T-zone. But today I wanna just see how this technique is gonna work by itself. And this is important, that's why I explain that to you. So my understanding about this technique, give this a shake, 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 shake. Okay, so this is the ultra matte. Give it a shake because you just need to make sure you do that, okay? We're gonna layer this on. I think I'm gonna be really dry, but in a good way. So we're spraying on the ultra matte Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray first. And this is the product in the spray that helps it to be matte. That's why you really gotta shake it up, okay? Now, I'm tempted to set my, like set the oils on my face with this translucent powder, but this foundation is so matte that I don't wanna mess things up. So I'll set it later, okay? But that is one technique. Let's say you wanted to set your primer, which today I use the spray, but it could be a different primer. Let's say you wanted to set that with the translucent powder. Depending on the product, you may be able to do that without your makeup looking too wild and crazy. Just FYI. So this is the color Deep 3 Soft Matte Complete Foundation. I've used this a few times already. The color is neutral, so it did have to grow on me. I was like, this color looks, it looks like something is not going well. It's a neutral color, so because I usually wear cool, it, sometimes red colors, uh, undertone foundations, it just felt kind of strange, but it works, okay? Back in my hand, using the Morphe E63 brush, and I'm going to apply this, and what I'm gonna do is put another layer of the setting spray on top of this. Okay, now this part is not mandatory, but because we're, we're doing the theme of matte, like a matte face, I'm just using a matte concealer, which is the 16 hour camo concealer by e.l.f. This is the matte one, they do have a luminous hydrating one not my style i love matte everything although i mean i wouldn't be opposed to trying it i 
haven't bought it. So comment and let me know if you use the matte one or if you use the more luminous one. Let me know. This is the color Deep Chestnut. And now I understand that many of you don't realize that in the summertime, you are supposed to be changing your foundation and concealer. Did you know that? If you didn't know that, I want you to comment below and let me know if I need to make a video on this. Because what you might find is that your foundation and or concealer from the winter doesn't match you anymore now that we're in the summertime. If you have run across this problem, sound off in the comments, like the video to give me a signal that you need a video to explain that because it's very, very important. Blending this from the outside, letting the inside dry a little bit. This is a matte concealer, so I do have to work fast. So let me do that and stop talking. <laughs> Okay, if you notice, I just used a matte foundation, a matte concealer. Now the, the bronzer is not matte, we see that, right? But in the middle of my face, don't I look satin? Satin is a mix between matte and shiny, right? You see some sort of a light shine, do you not? I think this looks good so far. Now I'm going to spray the All Nighter Ultra Matte Spray again before I set with powder. I've never done this before. I hope it comes out well. We gonna find out, okay? Shaking, shaking, shaking again really well. Let me fix the harsh lines now. No extra product. Product, just taking my sponge and going over where the lines are. Okay, I just did that now. I don't want to mess anything up. Okay, so spraying now. I did a lot because I really wanted it to work. Now what I want to do is use my fan. I just want this to dry well. Now they did say that this white stuff would show. That's the product that mattifies to get the name. I'm not gonna be alarmed by that. I never take my sponge over my setting spray, but I know a lot of people do. Like even when they're not using this, just in general, they do that. My face is looking dewy. <laughs> Wow, like, okay. Uh, I, I expected this to look dry and it's looking dewy. I'm doing this because I don't want the under eye to crease because I'm going to set it. <laughs> but it's already creased, girl. Okay, here it is. All right, this is the Urban Decay Translucent. We talked about that already. Let me get that going under the, in my highlighted areas. It's different in here. This reminds me of the Tatcha. Is it the Tatcha one? Yeah, it reminds me of that. Let's open this up. I'm gonna use the same brush that I've been using to set my under eyes. This is the Sigma Swift Blend number 70 brush. All right, I'm getting some product on the brush. I don't know why I'm so nervous about this. Gosh, okay. Taking this again to make sure that I don't have harsh lines just right in here. You don't need to be going over your whole face with this. Just right in there. Oh, and then you wanna, oh, I can't even see it. This reminds me of a Becca product. Becca has a product that has this net inside of it and I like it, okay. I wanna get this in my eye. This is definitely light and airy. It's flying everywhere, but that's just the nature of the product. It's a loose powder. I'm gonna go with my brows. I don't want those to be oily. Okay, so normally what I would do is now go over my face with my facial powder. Part of me wonders if I should put this on my entire face, but then I'm afraid of that because my foundation is more neutral than usual. I bring back the warmth in my face by using a foundation. In this case, that'll be golden. It would be the, oh, I put it away. So actually, okay, yeah, well, this will still bring color to my face. This is the Kosas Silky Cloud Set Powder because right now I look so neutral. All right, so I'm gonna put this off my face and I'm using this Juvia's Place Powder Brush to apply that. I don't see why you can't spray again, but let's wait and spray at the end. All right, what do we think? I'm feeling matte. I'm feeling matte. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how I should feel, and I'm feeling it. I could bronze, but I really just wanna leave this as a contour. I don't wanna add any warmth to my face. Not today, I'm gonna skip it. Sometimes I do that. So, because I'm going to do that, I didn't put the powder over my contour per se because I don't do that, but because I didn't do that, I do need to, oh, I took out too much, bless his holy name. All right, so I'm gonna take this Sephora number 59 brush and pick up some of the translucent powder. I made a mess on my tissue, but that's okay. That's why I have a paper towel in front of me. And now I'm gonna set my contour. Very light and I'm always tapping off the excess. Oh yeah, that, that, <laughs> that took it right on down. My God. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that took it right on down. Oh, righty. Oh, righty. Here we are now. <laughs> 
<laughs> now, what do we do next? We do brows and I am gonna do my liquid, I kept calling this liquid illuminator. I don't know. I was calling it illuminating. This is a liquid luminizer, excuse me. Rare Beauty flaunt, gonna do that. I like to put it behind my hand. I, like many of you, was initially very turned off by the idea of putting a liquid on top of a powder. I was just like, there's just no way. How could I do that? It's gonna ruin, it's gonna pick it up, it's gonna leave a gap, it's just gonna ruin my makeup. Well, I put it behind my hand first and I, I blot it behind my hand before applying it to my face. Okay, my contour is looking real ashy. I need to add warmth to that. This is not gonna work out for me. Not today. All right, squeezing this and then taking the product down the middle of my nose. And I don't do my forehead. I just leave it as is. All right, so now I need to, I'm gonna add some bronzer. I wasn't gonna do that, but I have to because hello. I'm looking gray and we don't do gray. So Charlotte Tilbury taking the 59 brush from Sephora. And honestly, depending on your skin tone, this could really be your blush. Oh, I should have used one, a new one that I have from Julia's Place. Dang it. This was just, this was just like muscle memory and I just grabbed it. But I really, I have the Julia's Place bronzers right here in front of me. Okay. That added the warmth that I need. Yes. Alrighty. So now actual blush. I'm going to do this step now before I forget get because once I finish the face, I never used to do my face like this. When I first started doing makeup, I did my face one way. I never veered off of it because if I did, I would forget something. And right now with all this talking, if I don't do my blush right now, I'm going to forget. So <laughs> Elf Cosmetics, always spicy. It's just right here and it works. I did the gasp because again, I wanted to use the Juvia's Place bronzer. One of them has a color in there that I think will be a great blush. What I'm going to do is put this aside to take out of my kit so that I'm forced to use that next time because I really want to use that. I think it'll look pretty. And this is Sephora Collection Hot Flush. And what is this called? They're just called colors, I think. Sephora Collection Color. And this is the color Hot Flush. Focusing this right in the apple of my cheek. It's not that pronounced on my skin tone, but I can see it. Can you see this? Can You should see this. I see it. You should see this. Comment, let me know if you like this color. I think that's so beautiful. You can even add a little more just to, yes. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Fantastic. I love to see it. I love to hear it. I love to be involved. I'm gonna do my brows now and then I will stop at the eyeshadow because I know that you'll be very angry if I do the eyeshadow and don't show you. Even though this, this video is focused on the whole face, like the foundation, what people call the base, I will walk you through the eyeshadow, okay? So just let's get to it. I'm glad I gave these Juvia's Place Eye Prep Eye Primers a second shot because the first time that I tried this, I didn't shake it and it was a watery mess, but I learned that it just needs to be shook. I wanted to say shooken, you know, cause there's shaken. Anyway, I digress. So this is the color two and I like it. I'm keeping my eyes stretched because I don't want it to crease. Although it does feel like it, no, it hasn't dried entirely, mostly, but not entirely. All right. I haven't done a cut crease in a long time. I feel like doing a cut crease today. What say you? What do you think? I want to use the Juvia's Place, the bronzed rustic palette. Should I do that? Let's just do it. Let's jump in and do it. Mm -hmm. Let's do that. So, oop, bless his name. Mm -mm. So here's the palette. Beautiful. Love the art artistry. It's always fantastic. This color right here is a lot brighter. You just can't see because of my lighting. Hello. Keeping my eyes stretched. It's really giving me a headache. That's when you know you're onto something. Fantastic. So I'm gonna use this color right here in my transition. It really is, I'm gonna use that in the last one cause I don't need this to be too dark. Not right now at least. Now I understand that I need to explain to you the eyeshadow application because you may still be learning. I, I use an assortment of brushes. I do have a video that is an Amazon brush set review that you can watch to find an easy brush set that you can use from start to finish. Okay, these are mauves. Usually I do a reddish brown in the crease, but here we are. It's actually looking pink. Okay, fantastic. Ooh, this is looking pink. Wellsers. I'm going with this color first and we're getting pink here. Okay. So yeah, isolate your forehead, stretch it up. It's gonna give me a little, make you a little lightheaded, but you gotta do it, right? Cause you want to identify where your crease is. It's right there, okay? This brush is from the It's My Ray Ray BH Cosmetics collection. But again, I have an assortment of brushes. I don't wanna confuse you. Oh, this is like pink. 
I am taking the darker color, which is looking more mauve. I thought it was more brown and it's still giving me pink. Not a bad thing, it's just confusing because in the palette, I thought it was, I thought it was brown. I have pink in my crease. I never put pink in my crease. Not this kind of pink. Okay, um, fantastic. So, yeah. <sighs> okay, I'm just building right now because we are already here and I'm tapping on my tissue to take off the excess in order to blend now. We've already applied the product, then I was trying to actually blend the product. Okay, that's not gonna work for me. Let me take the Juvia's Place Bronze to Bronze Dark palette and I'm gonna use this top color in my crease. Let's see how that gonna come out. Let's see what she's talking about. Always tapping off excess. I want this to make it warmer, less pink. Add some brown, sort of. Not brown enough, taking the color at the bottom of that to put into my crease. And this is working a smidge just to warm it up. I'm just showing you how to correct your eye look if it starts going in a direction that you weren't planning. I want this to be warmer, less pink, you see? And then feathering it out toward the outer part of my face into my highlight so that there are no harsh lines. And I'm going very lightly. It might look like I'm pressing, but I'm doing this very lightly. That's the key here. And then wiping my brush on my paper towel in front of me so that now when I go in, I am blending and not applying. Okay, the crease will do, although this wasn't my intention. It will do, it will, okay. Okay, now I do need a dark brown in my crease. That's just my go-to. I like to put a dark brown in my crease. This is the Evita Joseph G240 Precision crease brush taking this brown from the maven basic beat define palette and tapping off the excess and getting it right in here hold on why didn't that blend let's tap off some more excess <laughs> get this right in here Remember, I, I don't like for there to be a line of demarcation between my crease and the front of my brow. So I'm taking a light amount of the product, always tapping off the excess and going right here. I like for it to be blended right into it. Okay, so this orange did not come out the way I would have expected it to come out. I used my finger on this side, which made it look a little better, but it's patchy. I used the yellow a while ago from JP that came out patchy as well. I don't know if it's the yellows and the oranges, but this is not looking how I want it to look. Now comment below and let me know if you like the way this eyeshadow looks. It ain't coming together for me right now. Maybe when I finish the whole entire eye, it will, but it's not one of my faves. I took the mauve color and put it here at the end and it does make it look a little nice and different blending it in with that brown a little bit fading it in there i'm always looking down when i apply my eyeshadow so that it doesn't get onto my face because my face is already done there's no cleaning okay get this eyeshadow on your face there's no cleaning okay all right i obviously took the gold at the top left and put it on my lid in the beginning. Now you know I'm a huge fan of taking some of the colors on my lid down under my eye. So I'm going to take this mauve color, which is right here in the corner, and put that under my eye, then use the brown to deepen it a little bit, and then we'll do lashes. Okay, now there's a mascara. I'm gonna link the lashes below, FYI. There's a mascara that I used in another video. Maybe you've seen it by now, maybe you haven't, but this is Lawless, the one and done mascara. Oh my goodness. It is a perfect mascara for you if you like the clumpy, thick, not clumpy, clumpy is bad. The thick, it, just watch. <laughs> 
okay? I like when my mascara is normally dry up and then act this way, but I've used this, this is my third time, and it just starts out the gate like this. So I like to roll it on top, roll it underneath, take your time, look up like this if you need to. It's just off the rip, it's just nice and thick. It applies so much product to your lashes. If you don't like that, this is not for you. But I like this because like I said, I normally have to wait until my mascara gets a little bit old for it to behave like this. But again, this is just out the gate. This mascara is good, like nice and thick. Look at these lashes. All right, so we've gotten this far in the look and now I'm gonna apply these two lip colors from Beauty Marked & Co. Love, black owned brand, and she's a Ghanaian actually, so Ghanaian owned brand, come on, let's go. This is Khartoum, I love, is that how you pronounce it? I don't know. They, they, I love how the names of many of her liquid lip colors are African cities. Yes, 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 okay. So the brown color is Khartoum, if that's how you pronounce it, and then the lighter color is ginger. Ginger is light, but I'm gonna show you how to make ginger work. I'm gonna apply this almost on the whole entire lip, but you'll see. Now this brown is a neutral brown, like a gray. And now this is the color ginger on the inside of my lip. Ooh, now ginger looking a little ashy. <laughs> A little Dave Chappelle. But that's why we focused her more so on the middle. Jesus, I was a little concerned. I was a little bit concerned, but we made it work, okay? I want you to comment and let me know. Wait, oh, wait a minute, how's one? Wait, we forgot to spray again. Urban Decay All Night, I give her shake, shake, shake. She just, is she leaking? What's his name? What's going on here? When I'm shaking it, it's, I, I haven't even opened this. As I'm shaking it, it's leaking, problems. Okay, spraying this and then I'm gonna drive my fan. What do you think about this lip? That's what I want you to do. I want you to comment and let me know what you think about this lip. I wanna put something on top of it, but I do wanna keep the integrity of the lip on its own. Comment and let me know what you think about this lip. Anyway, we have reached the end of the video. Glad you're here, glad you watched the video. Give it a thumbs up, make sure you are subscribed. Also make sure you have hit the bell notification and comment. I wanna know if you've used any of these products, plan to use them. All the links are always below, so make sure you take a look at those. And as always, glad you're here and thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>